Hi everyone, thanks for listening in to our episode on pitching. In the episode itself, we talked a lot about the importance of personal connection. If you don't seem passionate about the project, then why should they be at the company or an audience themselves? So what if you have an idea that you enjoy those type of movies, but you don't really have a deeper connection to than that? We reference Godzilla in this aspect. Personally, I love a good Godzilla movie, but I don't think I have anything that can connect me to it rather than just, I liked watching them as a kid. Now, some professionals, they'll say that you could fabricate a believable enough story, but I know for some people, and myself included, this kind of becomes a little bit of a hurdle because you don't want to feel disingenuous. So for this podcast, we decided to make a sample of how you can incorporate a personal connection. And I decided to choose a script that kind of falls into this camp that we just talked about. And I even decided to choose one that's based on an already established property. So this would be a sequel, a remake, a reboot. And for it, I decided to choose an idea I had for the Puppet Master series. And how could I personally connect to it? So before I begin, I just want to say this won't be as fine-tuned as if I was pitching it in a room in front of a company themselves, but hopefully you get the basic idea through it. So the Puppet Master series for me has kind of become about getting people together. You know, I was born in rural Michigan where to really do anything outside of just going outside or the basic necessities, you had to drive 30 to 40 miles, and this was going to a movie going to a decent grocery store, or even for work. And then if you wanted to go to a major concert or a sports event or anything like that, you had to drive over four hours away. So one winter, when I was about seven years old, my my parents decided, because there was this big storm coming, that they would go and rent all of the Puppet Master movies that had come out at this time. And this was because my brother, who's 10 years older than me, was a huge horror fan. He still is to this day. And because of that, I too, even at a young age, had become this horror fan for what I could watch at that time. So I liked a lot of monster stuff and I was really into it. So my parents, they ran these movies and they brought them there. And there was this kind of big blizzard that was coming in, especially being up in northern Michigan. And we got pizza and the next day we got, my mom made tacos. And just over the course of this weekend, we watched all of these Puppet Master movies. For me, this was the first and last time I remember having one of these family nights while we all lived under the same roof. That same year, my brother, he graduated and he moved away. And then after, shortly after that, my, my parents separated. To this day, especially as I worked more in the horror genre and I've kind of dedicated more of my life to it, it's become this thing that my family will talk about and we'll bring up of remember that weekend that we spent watching all those full moon movies and it was so much fun and my mom even bought my brother and myself every time she finds one of them on dvd she would send it to us it's become this big thing within our family so for my script i really wanted to focus on that aspect and something that is fun to watch with your favorite snacks surrounded by the people you like so my script opens with blah 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 i won't give you the actual idea that i have but that in itself is kind of very quick mock personal connection. Now the major question that comes up is, well, is that all true? And the short answer is yes, it is. Um, I will admit I exaggerated or I changed certain things for the sake of the storytelling, but it is all true. The distance itself was instead of 30 to 40 miles, it could be more like 23 to 30. I don't know. The time period, we actually, we watched a bunch of the Full Moon movies. So be it Puppet Master series, Castle Freak, Subspecies, Dollman, and so on. We watched all of them over the course of several months. But that too could potentially work because I could say that you know, it became a, a weekly routine that we would watch one of these full moon movies. So I could have pitched it that way. Um, I decided to do the weekend and because there was one weekend that we watched a majority of the Puppet Master ones. And if this was a job specifically for a Puppet Master movie, then I wanted to focus on that rather than all of the movies that Full Moon has come out with, which are a lot over the decades they've been around. 
the other major thing that pops up is, yeah, the time period itself is that, so while, yes, my brother did move that same year, he graduated, and after that, and he was spending a lot of time with friends, as teenagers do, my parents didn't separate until probably four or five years after. So obviously I did condense some of it just for the sake of condensing the the personal connection in itself because you don't want to run too long with your personal connection. But it also kind of heightens the storytelling and shows the importance. Yeah, Puppet Master does hold this nostalgia to me. They are these fun movies that we'll talk about and joke around about. And I know we had other points in you know that time period while we still lived under the same roof that we had little family nights but that was one that we still discuss to this day so with all that said if you're trying to think about a personal connection that is something you can do if you dig deep enough you just look really any idea even if it's something you don't think you're connected to at all you can find a way to have a connection and i think that's kind of what you really need to do if you want to sell this and it's part of the business aspect and to show that you really care about this project and this is something as i said before that you want to watch because if you want to then they do and so thank you for listening to this kind of rough mock pitch of a personal connection thank you to, for listening to the episode and check us out on our social media Bloodhound Picks podcast is produced by Josh Lee, Craig Dram, and Kyle Hintz. Music by Raymond Seed. Audio editing by Kyle Hintz.